Hey, Jose. Hi, Mr. Irwin. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. I see you're a little cold there today. Yeah. <laughs> like yesterday. <laughs> I can see that. It's a little cold and, today. And a little cold, my nose. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't have a cold or a flu or anything like that, right? No. Okay. I hope, I will hope. No. <laughs> and you? How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Actually, uh, just well, pretty. Today was a pretty good day. Actually, I had a, a, a quite a few um, projects, activities that went very well. Um, some business, and that's it. Just uh, the rest of the day at home. Hey, that that nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. Romulo, Elizabeth, how are you? Hey, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm doing well. Uh, Hello, nice day, a uh, busy day. <laughs> it was a busy day, yeah. Okay. But that's okay. A lot of activities at work or, or what happened, Romulo? Yes, uh, a lot of activities, uh, different meetings uh, during the day, yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay, I was very busy. Hmm. And you, Elizabeth? Uh, I'm okay, teacher. Same old same. <laughs> there you go. So what's going on with your projects at work? What's what's new? Jose, you got Tigo, right? Romulo, the yeah. same. Elizabeth, not Tigo, but something for, I can't remember where, where it is that you work, Elizabeth. Uh-huh. I know, I know the area, but I just can't remember. What, what, what is it? Where do you work? Does anybody remember? No, I, I know. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know if Elizabeth has said that the company, I, I, I only the area. <laughs> yeah, I think, I'm thinking, I don't remember you mentioning the company. Yeah. It's a secret, <laughs> it's a secret, Elizabeth? No, absolutely okay, not. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no, it's a firm, um, I was, um, audit and accounting uh, firm, international firm. You see, you, you see how she answers the question but doesn't say the name. Ah, it's a secret. It's a secret. No, ah. no, it's not a secret. Because <laughs> the name is no, is no, um, is no. It's not a. It's no, not a. It's not recognized or, or what. Yeah, I mean, but the name is RSM. Okay. Uh, El Salvador. Um, this is a. It's a firm that is a in all the countries all around the, the world. Do you, and how long have you worked there, Elizabeth? About five or six years. Oh, wow. That's, that's some time now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Yep. Hmm. That's a good time. That's, so now you make a decision, you like the company, you stay with it, you want to change, you want to grow. You want to create your own? What's what's the idea, Elizabeth? No, not this time. I want. I want to. I like my. I, I I like what I do. I like what I do. I like uh, what I study. I like. Um, I like. I, I like my job. Um, I know I'm okay right now. I mean, mm -hmm. at this point, I don't think I can make it. You know, by my own. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, the most amazing thing for accounting, and, and maybe it sounds boring for Romulo and Jose, but I, I liked accounting when I was younger, but I liked the idea of forensic accounting. I, I really, and I, but the, 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 the forensic accounting, I really like this concept, but then it's, you know, it, it takes so much work and you have to be, you know, it, it's a specialized area and, mm-hmm. So I, I like it because I like, I don't know if you guys have seen like CSI or I don't know, things like uh, criminal investigations yeah. or criminal something. investigation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm. the, the idea for is similar, the similar, but instead of like a murder or a, a, a someone who, who dies, um, mm -hmm. it is the, the, is the investigation, but like for, I, 
I don't know how to say it without sounding bad, but it's like you investigate the narcos and you discover where they have the money and the, uh-huh. the terrorists and, and, and you, you try to go back and see uh, Romulo had the money and he gave to Jose and he cleaned the money and Jose gave the money to a new company and then the forensic accounting, I feel, I don't know why, but I feel that that is, I know it's not exciting, but I feel like it's an exciting part of accounting. <laughs> you like the yeah. Yeah, sounds, I like the sounds, definition. It, I like the definition. Sounds good. I mean, obviously, you're in the office doing nothing. It's, the, I mean, doing the same job, right? But, <laughs> but when you explain yeah. it, ha! It sounds like mm, Rambo for accounting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. But it's dangerous at the same time, you know. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I it's, have seen. Yeah. Mhm. Mhm. So. So, yeah. do you watch uh, the series, series Narco, Netflix? I have, I have, I, I have, I, I don't know, the others, have you guys seen it, Narcos? Yes. Narcos. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Yes, it's a... Uh, Narcos uh, and the Chapo. Uh-huh. No, uh, the Narcos Colombia about the Pablo Escobar Gaviria and... No, and but the, I saw the, I, I, I watched the... Ah, the Chapo too. The Chapo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's Mexico. The Narco Mexico con yeah. with uh yeah, it's a I think it's a continuum of narcos. Yes, narcos uh, but the uh, first, the, first uh, the the Colombian cartel and the second one exactly. and the Mexico Mexico cartel. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I liked. I liked that 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 you learned about both. Uh, you learned a little bit about, you know, uh, um, how the Colombian cartel began and then how the, the, the new Mexico or the, the modern uh, cartel in Mexico began. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> there you but, go. But don't learn, don't learn, Romulo. Yeah, don't learn, don't learn. <laughs> You know, I, <laughs> okay. I, it's no, no, I, I, I know the reason because uh, the the Mexican, the the Mexico cartel have the monopoly of the trapping drugs around the world. Ah. Because no, no, it's a Colombian cartel right now. Yeah, it's Mexico, Mexico cartel. Wow. Yeah, they control almost. Yeah. All of all of from America to to South, it, and it, one is the position. That's that's it's excellent because the biggest exactly. consumers are the Americans. Exactly. Yes. Yes. So, now I think it's 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 I I always like these these shows. It's exciting and you know, but never never want to be involved with them. <laughs> it's just that, but it's it's nice to watch on TV, right? It's nice to watch. Yeah. The, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I have. I, I had a student um, who who wanted to be part of the cartel. He wanted to he wanted to join the cartel, and he 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 used to tell me he and he was uh, he was pretty good student not not um, not dedicated but he was pretty good. But he said, uh, um, what was the, the the phrase that he always used? It was in Spanish. I I prefer to live five years like a king than to live fifty years working a job or to 50 years working in like a dog. Uh-huh. Come on. Yeah, no, no, and, 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 and that's what he did. He went to, and he, and in the end, I don't, I, I haven't seen him, but I imagine in the end he probably, because he really, he really liked the, I don't know, some people really have a fantasy or an idea of how it is. But he was a, and he was a professional. He was a, a, a pilot. But, uh, oh. the, yes, uh, the, the, the price is higher, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, he makes, I mean, as a pilot, the job is good. Even the jobs, the jobs are good, even as a, like in the profession, like working as a pilot. But for the narcos, yeah. they really, really pay a lot because the pilots have to take a lot of risk. Yeah. A lot. I don't know. In the, like I said, in the end, I don't know if he wins because some people, they they like to talk and they don't do, right? But Sometimes when the people have this mentality, no, 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 I prefer five years like a king and eat and drink and do what I want than live all my life not doing and, and working in a job. 
but you know it's, it's yeah some people like the fast money that's that's a problem some people like you know they can make five hundred dollars work in one month but other people no 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 i want five hundred dollars in one day yeah mm -hmm. oh yes it's a yeah well it's good that we are all back we are looking at this this is part of the the good thing is Romulo mentioned the not not as good that he mentioned the narcos right but the the I write the recommendations the opinions that's what we're looking at so right now we have um, pretty much finished up uh, section four but we want to practice that last part of section four which is giving recommendations you should might you could remember those that we're, we're doing. So we're gonna make a few groups right now and we're gonna give recommendations for different things. It can be whatever you want. It can be the topic food, TV shows, clothing, shops, places to visit, locations, I don't know, hair supply, shampoo, conditioners. I mean, whatever you want, you we can use them. Now, the important was from our section four or what we wanted to focus on uh, specifically is the idea of trying to use the recommendations or the opinions, if you remember, without the word should. Because should is what we normally say, right? We almost always use the word like should. That's, and, and it's correct. It's not that should is wrong, but you know, um, you can use it in different forms, okay? So um, let's say, I don't know. I'm going to use Vanya as an example. Vanya says she has, um, you know, her, her eyes hurt. Maybe her, she's like, she says, oh, my, at the end of the day, every day, my eyes are red, my eyes are hurting. So I give a recommendation, but my, the objective is not with should. So I say, oh, Vanya, uh, it, it might be a good idea to, to have your eyes checked out or, um, you know, one thing you could do is visit an optometrist or um, have you thought about using um, um, by seeing drops or something. But if you notice all of my recommendations, I did not use should. So we're going to practice. That's the key. The key is, yes, we can make recommendations. And normally we make recommendations with should, but today we want to focus in making them without should so that it's clear for us. If, if it's not clear for you, you can see the video on 4.8 to help you remember. If it's not clear, 4.8 in the platform was the examples that you have. It's also already in the WhatsApp, okay? So. Ready? In All right, guys, many ways to make let's make our groups and let's give recommendations for different topics. Okay. <clears throat> Questions. Grab a pen and paper and take notes. Remember, you may play the audio program and the explanation as necessary. Making suggestions. With gerunds. What are... Yeah. Are you still working from home? E, today, no, no, no. I, 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 I returned to, to my office. Yeah. Ah, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm still working from home. Uh, yeah, really? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Because um, in the office, they are using this, the, the office for the contact center because they need to use all the office that we have so we can come back uh, until everything is, is, maybe when we have the medicine for that, for the virus. So we have to work. Recommending about um, Christmas, Sorry. Can you repeat, please? I didn't hear the first part. 
Okay, what do you recommend about okay. the Christmas card? Uh, to eat, drink, or or what? Um, or in general? In general, if you can. Okay. Uh, for Christmas, it might be a good idea to to uh, put uh, the karaoke on the TV okay. with the family and sing along some some songs. Some yeah. Christmas songs. In the karaoke, it's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, to yeah. have fun with the family. <clears throat> uh, let me see. Uh, mm, I have to answer with how about, what about, or have you thought about? Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. Mm, making suggestions. Remember, you can use um, maybe you could, or why don't you? Uh, if you want to ask in the in the in the different idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me think. Mm. What could you recommend me to to learn in my free time? Maybe you could uh, try to do exercise. R D A R. K. K. Yes. No. What is about? Uh... Is the is the is the mysterious. Mister. Mystery. No. Yes. Yes, teacher. No, I never seen it. Do you, teacher? What I didn't hear the the beginning. What, dark. What dark. That the series dark, yeah. No, 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 I've never seen it. Ah, it is interest. It's very interest. Really? Yes. Yes, teacher. What, what's teacher it about? Is the, it's the Netflix. And what's it about? What are, I mean, the mystery is like a murder. Is like a. It is. A, mm -hmm. it's, it's for example, uh, the option is the other. Ears, ears, like ears. Uh -huh. Continue, Patricia. Uh -huh. like, like, like what? For example, and you, you watch it, the the present, but the 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 actor is remember in the future and in the past. He can see in the future. He can see the future. Yes, yes. Mm. Okay. I recommend. Like a lot. I recommend you. You can uh, watch a a one season, and and you continue. You continue because the uh, the finish is. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Describe it. It's very interesting. How many? How many? How many seasons have that series? Three. Three seasons. Three seasons. Three seasons. I'm gonna pick her up uh, or uh, my little son to the to the school. I okay. wake up. Uh, very early, and yeah. when I pass for Jerusalem, is is no don't have a problem. But you drive every morning. Yeah, yeah, yes, oh. I drive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I use the office, the office, uh, about two years. I uh, was in the in Torre Futura. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, that was located, but two years ago they moved to the campus. And when it, when the, the office was in Torre Futura, uh, it's better because you have a lot of things close to the office. And I only spend one hour to go to the Torre Futura. But now in the campus, no. It was very painful for me to move from Torre Futura <laughs> to, to Zaragoza. Okay. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow, okay. Yeah. Uh, teacher, uh, so, yeah, so sorry. Uh, the, 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 the exercises uh, give the recommendation, right? Right, right. So the idea is you can talk about different things. For example, Vanessa says she lives in Zaragoza, right? And no, my work. office is now work. in Zaragoza. Okay, I sorry. Mm -hmm. Work, teacher. Okay, so her office, but she, but Vanny, you work from home or no? Right now, yes, yes. Okay, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So, Ed, so the idea is that you give recommendations, for example, oh, well, if your office in Zaragoza, it, it might be a good idea to move to Santa Tecla mm -hmm. or, do, or it might be a good idea to move to Merliot. But, but this is the idea. The idea is you don't want to just have a, a sentence for a sentence. You want to in, try to include it in part of your conversation. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. best way, if it's not clear, is have the screen. Have the okay. screen up, and that way, when the person is speaking, and you have a, an opportunity to give a comment or give an opinion or make a, a, a suggestion, you can use this technique. So, if, if Vanny says, uh, "You know, I went to um, I don't know, Vanny, have you ever gone to Mike's Burger, Mike's Burger no. in in Merliot? No. No. Okay. No. Okay. I, and, I I I know, teacher. You know, you know Mike's Burger, Romulo. Yes, it's uh, near to, to Plaza Merleau, right? Yeah, that's right, right. What do you think about it? Ah, it's, uh, I like it. It's a uh, huge and delicious burger, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, um, uh, I, you, you, maybe you cool, 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 no, maybe you call go to the oh. my burgers. It's, uh, Mm -hmm. Or, or exactly, or, hey, Bane, why don't you join uh, Romulo and I the next time we go? Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. <laughs> you see, that, that's, that's the idea. So the idea is, if you're not clear, have the screen or having the, having the phone and have, you're just having a conversation. It's just you and Bane talking, talking about your life, your things, and yeah. then you want to try to put in naturally these formulas. So that you, it's not, it's not a grammar exercise. It's, yeah. it's a conversation. No. That's the no. idea. That that makes it easier for you to, to learn it. Okay. 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 Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. In the, I don't know how to say, but in the mer merchant. Uh, bad merchants okay. because when you 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 buy it with American not certificate, I think um, it can be a pirate stuff. Okay. Okay. Um. All right, so let me help you. Sorry, sorry, Jose, to interrupt you. So let me help you out a little bit better, okay? So the idea to make it a little bit easier or more is think about it like a conversation. It's not a grammar exercise. It's just a, top, it's just a conversation. So for example, um, Jose, have you ever gone to Mike's Burger? Yes. Yeah? Okay, yeah. And, you, and you, Francisco, have you gone to Mike's Burger? Yeah, I okay. have. Okay, um, how, which is your favorite hamburger? Poseidon. <laughs> Poseidon, aha, okay, all right. And you, Jose? Um, for me, I, I don't have a preference. Okay, well, one thing you could try is the, uh, the, the Baconator, the bacon, the, the bacon burger. You see? Oh, okay. And that's it. That's it. That's making a suggestion. It's just having a conversation, just talking. Don't worry. 
if you're not clear or if it's a little difficult, have the screen, have the screen on in your computer, have it on your phone. And then when you and when the two of you are talking and about movies, shoes, uh, clothes, the places to live, whatever, whenever you have an opinion, boom, you use one of these. But that way you don't have to think about, mm, where can I use it? Where can I use it? No, you just, you have the screen and you talk about anything. Uh, you know, have you, uh, have you gone to uh, the, the, the tacos? Do you like tacos? Wh which is your favorite taco place or the movies or, you know, just have a conversation. I like, I like coffee, for example. Oh, so I tell Jose, oh, well, maybe you should, uh, and remember, maybe you could, that's it. The other part, the last parts are the ones where you don't, where you change the verb. Why don't you? And then you change the verb. What about and change the verb, okay? So if Jose says, I like coffee. Oh, uh, well, you know, uh, maybe you should try, uh, and I don't have to use, maybe you could. Maybe you should, and then I can put in try, right? Maybe you should try a uh, Ben's coffee. Or maybe you could go to, you know, oh, I want to, I, I want to save money um, without, with, with Netflix. Oh, well, you know, why don't you look for uh, the movies on Pelis 24 or Repelis or whatever. But that's it. It's not about a, a, a sentence and an answer, a sentence and an answer. It's just a conversation. So the two of you, just a conversation, have the screen. Whenever you feel that you can include your opinion, put your opinion, but using those and not should. Okay. 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 Okay, that'll make it, that'll help you with the fluency and that'll make it easier for you to remember that it's the same thing. It's, it's a natural way to give your opinion. It's not, it's not an exercise. It's not like, oh my God, I'm go I have to memorize this. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. It's normal, part of the natural conversations. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Okay. Thank you, Mr. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. This is very good. Yeah, the, the food is Delicious, good. yes. Yeah. Uh, I like uh, la calaca. In, I don't remember this, the, this name. There are a lot of uh, Mexican restaurants here. Yes. But yeah, la calaca is good and. Um, Zócalo. Uh, Zócalo. Zócalo. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's good. Yes. That's a good one. Yeah. What about you, teacher? Um, for favorite Mexican food. For favorite, uh, yeah, well, or favorite, favorite food. You favorite know, food. I, favorite food. I mm -hmm. just discovered a restaurant last week. Mm -hmm. Last week. I Tell me. I didn't know, but it is now my favorite food for, the, for, for, for ceviche and salsa rosada. This place. Mm, salsa yeah. rosada. Yes. So oh, no, no, sorry, 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 cocktail, 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 yes, oh, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like, I tried, to right. pick, I tried to picture in my, in my mind. All the lemon and everything. <laughs> with the oh, my God. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Cocktail, but they make good ceviche too, but, but the cocktail in Salsa Rosada, my God, is, is delicious, but, but. Tell me, what is? It's. What it's, is, teacher? It's in Multiplaza. It's mm -hmm. near, it's near La Pampa. It's, it's a, so there's La Pampa and Multiplaza. There's McDonald's on the first floor or in the basement, right? Yes. The basement, uh-huh. Banco Agricola. You remember Banco uh -huh. Agricola? Okay. Yes. yes. So at the end, there used to be a Buffalo Wings. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now they converted that Buffalo Wings, they converted it into a small plaza of mini restaurants. And there are four or five restaurants in the same plaza, in that same location. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's a, so it's, it's a new concept that they have there. What happens is the four restaurants share the space. They, mm -hmm. they, pay, mm -hmm. they pay for the waiters. They share mm -hmm. that they mm -hmm. share for the bartender, but and they have the same different uh, kind but, of food. But, but each restaurant has its own food. Oh, uh -huh. so they, yeah. so when you go, you receive four menus or five menus. So you receive oh, a menu for a pizza. You receive a menu for buffalo wings. You receive the menu for the seafood. You receive the, so you receive is you sit down in one restaurant, but you receive the attention for four or five restaurants. 
Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh -huh. It is. It was very interesting for, for me and my family because it's okay, especially with kids, maybe not as an adult, but always with kids. It's, uh, I want pizza. No, I want hamburgers. <laughs> no, I want chicken. And so, so we try. So you to, have more, more choices. It's the, the problem. Same place. It's the problem. The challenge. Yes. When, when you have more choices. So we went because that's where they wanted to go. But when we were there, we tried, I, I tried because I saw, I didn't know, I, 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 we didn't know that was it. The, the intention, the original intention was go to Buffalo Wings. But when mm -hmm. we sat down, that's when we learned that now it's like a mini plaza of these different restaurants. So oh. when, we, when I sat down and they, we thought it was going to be a Buffalo Wings, but when we sat down and we received all of the menus, the menu for Buffalo Wings, the menu for the, the hamburgers, the pizzas, and the, the seafood, I said, oh my God, I understood the concept, which is amazing because I had never seen this concept in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. so in this restaurant, I ordered the, thank you for correcting me, Elizabeth, the cocktail in Salsa Rosada. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. But is I... I have to say that out of all of them that, that, that I have tried, out of all of the, the cocktails in Salsa Rosada, for me, that was amazing. I have gone to Caliches, I have gone to Betos, I have gone to all of the La Pampa, I have gone to all of these places. And yes. this, this place was wow, like like really amazing. I, I was so- It's different. It, it was, what one is for the, for the service, but the, but the food, that, that food that we ordered was really good was fresh maybe the the tree was fresh uh. i think so because even my mm -hmm. wife my wife who who likes it a lot and she likes you know like she likes different places like she likes caliches or others and and she says okay there's okay this is okay and she's like mm -hmm. a, a little picky eater and mm -hmm. when she, and when she ate it she was like oh my god and she said i wow i can't believe it. and i said i know like really really we ordered two and to be mm -hmm. honest we even they they're they're about the average price because they're like ten fifty they're like ten dollars and fifty cents but they're pretty big they it's a it's a big bowl it's not like a little it's like if you order a large in in the other places so we really finished and my wife and I we looked at each other and we said <gasps> do we order one more to take home do really <laughs> really. <laughs> And so never, I understand that. Yeah, that is, it was good. <laughs> yeah, for me it was it was good. It is one of those places that I don't intend, but I would recommend that place because I don't normally recommend like ah this is a great. But I think that if you try it in this place, you would like it. It's good. Well, I I will try. I mean, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna try one of these days. Yeah, and, and the best is, for me, I love the concept that you go in a group because if you mm -hmm. go with people from work, I don't know, if you mm -hmm. go people with from, from, you know, groups, I, where, I know, I want hamburger. No, I can't I like hamburger. This, I like this, I like this. I like pizza. I, I like hamburgers. I like, I like steak. I like, sure. but, yeah, but in this place, you have the four restaurants mm -hmm. in one, so you receive four different menus for four different concepts but is one serving it's it's centralized they're 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 centralizing the concept so it's very very interesting um you know i for me it's very it's a very modern and i think is is very creative for the pandemic because even the menu well even in many restaurants not just this one but in many restaurants you have the qr code that you scan on your phone and you yeah. have the four menus at one time, the four yeah. menus, and then you mm. select, or you can have the physical menus that you want. Or, but I think that to survive, for me, I think the concept from these restaurants is each of them pay a location, but to survive economically is better not pay one waiter for buffalo wings, one waiter for the pizza, one no. Now the waiter works for the four companies, and. The waiters are always busy, busy, but the companies reduce the cost for the employees. The, before, the chef or the cook maybe cook for, you know, one, wait for the order, cook for another. Now, the chefs are cooking every moment because they have four different concepts to prepare. Yeah. So. That's a clever idea. Yeah. As a business, yeah. as a business, is 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 really smart decision. Mm -hmm. and, and I have to say the food was good, so. 
Okay, thank you for the advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, if you go, Elizabeth, you tell me. Mm -hmm. Because for me... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was there on Sunday and on Saturday, but and, and I, 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 I didn't see it. Yeah, I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth is cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the next, yeah, is 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 really good. I, I I think I think you'll enjoy the place. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will uh, let you know. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> good. Thank you. All right, how are you guys doing? Great. Hey, nice time with, with Bane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice, nice time. I, I, I know more about her. Um, about her. Yeah. Me oh. too, about Romulo. <laughs> hey, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, it's it's actually not that hard to use. Um, it's, it's just a matter of practice. It's really just a matter of practice because the grammar structures are not difficult. They're not complicated. It's just a matter of, okay, I need to remember not to use should. I re need to remember that I can use other words. I can use the word could, which is very common, but it's not only could. I can use the verb directly with ing. I can use try. I can use all of these other concepts. The important part is because many times when you are talking about like in a project at work or an activity, how can we improve? What can we do better? What about customer service? How about the you know internal process? Oh, we use normally we could or we, we or should, but this is another way very common to give your opinion and not only have to repeat. Oh, we should try this. We should try that, you know. We, this is another way to, to make it a little bit easier. Right. Was, it, was there anybody that has maybe difficulty or questions or is not clear how to use this? Not teacher. Not for me. No? Okay. Not teacher. Okay. Great. So what we're going to do is actually in the next part, we have a few minutes left. We have um, four point. I'll show you my screen. That way it's easier um, before I start explaining. Okay, there. So in the next section, now that we're clear with the grammar, in the knowledge check 4.9, okay, there are six questions. We can see how can I build self-confidence? What could help me be happier? How can I lose weight? What can I do to save money? How can I improve my memory? And how can I get along with my roommate better? Okay. And you are, you are going to talk with your partners. You can practice the exercises here as well um, to help you advance with the platform. But the idea is to practice giving your opinion. It's not only choosing the opinion that is there from the, from the platform. Talking. So example, how can I build self-confidence? And if you have an idea or maybe you've seen it at, uh, at your office, because many times um, before the COVID, they, they have a lot of, uh, you know, teamwork or confidence building or management, or they have all of these different trainings that they like to give people, okay? Or maybe for you, whatever is your opinion. So we're gonna answer those six questions and you're going to try to use what we just learned, the ideas of giving your opinions. Okay, remember, try not to use should. Should is not that it's wrong, it's just that we're not focusing on that today. Okay? Okay. All right, so remember, 4.9, if you want to look at it in the, in the platform, and you have six questions, and then you try. Okay.
with a book or not, with a budget plan from the TV to look to every week. Uh, yeah, for maybe, me, it's a participant, yeah. Uh -huh. Let me check the, the maybe you could uh, participate in more social activities. Yeah, uh, but uh, I have uh, another uh, recommendation. No, no, only, only, only that. But uh, for example, okay. uh, it's necessary you remember sometimes uh, uh, your life. When uh, are you from? Uh, your your uh, your goals are you get right now? Yeah, because uh, sometimes it's a uh, give you uh, some uh, inspiration now, yeah, you, you improve your self-confidence, right? Yeah, yeah. Are, are you agree? Yes. Do yes. you agree? <laughs> uh, yeah, yes. Do you agree? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, teacher. I am agree. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, the second one, what could help me be happier? Uh, maybe uh, <laughs> no. maybe you can plan fun activities. Mm -hmm. Look forward to every week. Try not get prepared oh. about the little thing. No, no. I don't know what do you think. Yeah, yes, think. yes, yes. Also maybe you you can uh, try to not think in sad moments. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe try to watch uh, funny videos or series. Uh, something that you uh, that, that 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 in your mind uh, don't have uh, uh, sad moments, right? Yes, and uh, sometimes is a uh, is correct teacher proactive. Yeah, yeah. You what need to you... be pro. You need to be proactive. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you agree with? Do you agree with this uh, answer? <laughs> yeah. I agree. <laughs> okay. Uh well I, I put this one. How can I lose weight? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, no. <laughs> really, Bunny? Richard, it might be a good idea to cut down on calories. Yeah, this is for me, yes. Uh, cut down. Okay. And and you know uh, you you must or you could do more exercise or uh, yes because this maybe you could uh -huh, yeah. do yeah. more exercise or you could go to 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 the park and walk every night yeah but uh, the experts say that uh, the the key is uh, in the in the food, the kind yes, of food the you food. eat. Yeah. <laughs> it might be a good idea. Don't uh, do not eat uh, junk people. <laughs> how how you ever uh, how you ever cut uh, down calories or how you ever get uh, any plan for your reduce or loss uh, weight? Yeah, yeah. Every yeah, month. Really? I have a new app uh, to lose weight, but I don't use it. <laughs> <laughs> so I I try with uh, different apps, but uh, I, I like the food. So. <laughs> but uh, what is functional for you? Huh? What is oh, what is functional for you? I don't like to. If you train your memory act. Sorry, Jose, for interrupt you. Are you in the 4.9? 4.10. Oh no, it's the 4.9. I'm in the platform. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, the 4.9 knowledge check. 
Ah, okay, okay. Uh, first sentence. How can I build self-confidence? Possibly answer number uh, one, cut down on calories, play concentrated games, participate in more social activities, try not to get peeved about what is your uh, your tall? My age. Yeah, your age. Huh? Is a uh, if for example is maybe you cool last base form discussion groups at the mm -hmm. bookstore. One thing you okay. can do is go to a discussion. One thing you group can at the one bookstore. thing you can do. So you had to practice uh, to make a suggestion. Okay, you know the answer, right? The okay. answer on number five? Is play concentration ga games. Yeah, but uh, try to practice with uh, with, uh, with making a making suggestion. Making suggestion. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, um, okay. I need, I, I need, for example, I need be a good idea. And one it might be. It might be. Maybe, yes. Might, might be, yes. Excuse me. Okay, repeat. It might be a good idea. Maybe a, a good idea. Uh huh. One thing you could do mm -mm. is play concentration games. No, it just, it might be a good idea to play concentration games. Right, did you? Yes. It might be a good idea to play concentration games. Do? Yeah. Okay. To play, let's see. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Teacher, uh, can you uh, help me with the meaning of piv pivot? Uh, can you spell it for me or, or what number is P it? Is that number three? Number three. Is the, the answer, um, um, the answer? One, two, three, four. Uh, yes, I see it. I see it. Uh -huh. Yes, that's right. The pronunciation is right. Peeved. Uh, try not to get peeved about little things. Peeved is a synonym for being becoming angry or upset. I never heard that word before, teacher. Normally, normally it's used uh, uh, with the word pet. So normally you hear the expression, what are your pet peeves? Or uh, what is your pet peeve? Normally it's used with... Uh, with pet, but the verb itself is peeved. Mm -hmm. okay. So pet peeve are like, mm, the way to think of pet peeves are like the little things that bother you. For example, for me, my pet peeve is when the people leave the refrigerator door open and they are not there. Or a pet peeve is when the driver, when I'm, in, when I'm driving and the person in front of me is driving and they put the lights, Blink, 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 mm -hmm. but, they, but mm -hmm. they don't turn, but they can be straight. <laughs> right. Okay. So, so you said pet, pet, beef? Pet, pet, the same, peeves, but with S, because it would be a, the, the plural, pet peeves. Here oh. is, here is just the, the verb. Here is the, the verb of a, get peeved mm -hmm. or, or peeved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I never see anything. Yeah, it's another it's another way to say uh, upset or angry. Upset. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, we were in number. How uh, number um, five, Patricia? Yeah. <laughs> How can I improve my memory? Oh, you say right? <laughs> Play. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, you said yes. Okay. Uh, number six, uh, how can I get along with my roommate better? Yeah. How can I improve my memory? Uh, maybe you can, you might uh, play concentration games. Mm -hmm. So that can help you to uh, you know, have you know, your brain yeah, yeah. more active every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, how can I get how can I get along with my roommate better? Uh, uh, 
try no maybe try to not uh try to not to get pivot about your things what did they mean pivot i, I never i never pivot is an, a synonym for saying upset or angry so if you're peeved about something you're upset normally you see this word with the word pet normally it's going to be a pet peeve mm -hmm. uh -huh. this is normally when you say so a pet peeve is like small things that bother you for example for me when my pet peeve would be when someone leaves the refrigerator door open this makes me upset okay or my pet peeve is when i'm driving and the person in front of me has the the light the blinker that they are going to turn blink 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 and they continue straight this uh, is yeah. <laughs> these are, yeah. this is the concept of the pet peeves things that that bother you so the the small things that bother you but the word peeved is things that bother you okay or, the, the pronunciation is pet beat no uh, uh, let's try peeved. only yes with 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 a strong d peeved peeved, peeved. yes peeved. only here peeved no with the d so it's peeve and then don't pronounce the the third e the thirty e, you don't pronounce and then the d yes peeve yes that's right peeved. exactly it, exactly my so, peeve is when the people uh, don't turn off the light for example okay. and, and don't use it anymore yeah that, yes, but that, but word, that would be you with, use it i get peeve no yes but for romulo in his example that would be a pet peeve because it's a small thing. Ah. Uh, so small. How do you say teacher? I don't, I don't get it. There is pet. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Pet B. Pet uh -huh. Pet. Correct. Pet. pet. So the, like, a, like the animal, like a dog or a cat, this is the pet peeves. Oh. Pet peeves. Mm -hmm. But you write it, pet and then peeve. With with s. Mm -hmm. um. So so instead of the d, you put an s. So hang on, I'll put it here. So if you're going to use like the one for Romulo, it would be like this. My pet bees. My pet peeves. Peeves. Ah, yeah, yeah, yes. My pet peeves. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And the one that is in number six is with D, peeved. I okay. get peeved about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So think of, you, you can think of it like if you change the word peeved for angry. So I get uh -huh. angry about, ta ta ta. I get peeved about. Mm -hmm. It's in the same way. So, I, Vane, I am so angry. Ah, Vane, I am so peeved. Mm -hmm. So, this is like a synonym. This is going to be what you normally okay. use it for. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 A new word. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah. To concentrate. I'm able to remember. The last one. Remember, you need to take an active role. We forget things more easily when we're worried about remembering them. Well, let's try it. Point five. Uh, no. Sentence five. No. Number two. No. Mm, I think. So it's okay, any questions, anything? I know that in one of the exercises, uh, one word that was that came up in number three was the word peeved. It's not a common word. It's not very often used just by itself, but it means to be upset about something or to be like an angry. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Besides that word, were there any other words or any other things that we're not clear or not sure about? In my case, teacher, I I com I confuse the use the verb in infinity or what I can use a base form. Ah, oh, okay. So when when to when? use the the two or when to use the the base form? Yes, teacher. Okay. So normally, when the the concept of two is for giving a reason. It's explaining why you do something. So when you explain, when you give, uh, um, like when you answer the question why, even if it's not the question, but if you are thinking like, I am saying this to give the answer why, that's when you use the two. Okay. So Patricia, why are you studying English? Ah, to get a better job. We're not going to say get a better job. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to explain something. So I tell Jose, hey, Jose, get the work done, not to get the work done. Mm -hmm. The reason I don't use to is because I'm not explaining. I'm telling this action. I'm not explaining this action. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Okay. We're going to, I'll, I'll take a look at Patricia and let me know tomorrow. We're going to, we'll take a look at some exercises or something. If you have any questions in specific and then I'll help you out to make sure. But usually the concept of the two is to give the reason why, why something is done. That's when you're going to use the two. Okay. Infinitive. Correct. The infinitive mm -hmm. to the infinitive. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, remember that the, the tricky is that the infinitives are used in, in many other situations also. It's not just for this. But I think for Patricia's question is specifically between the base form and this, this is the idea with the, that the concept is for explaining why is the two. Is the two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. I hope you have a, a great evening. Uh, I will see you tomorrow, which we only have five classes left. <gasps> so I hope you are doing well in the platform with the five classes left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that laugh sounds like. Mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. Have we're a working on that, teacher. Yeah, Don't we're worry. working. I know, I know. All right, guys. Have a great night. It's very difficult. The first unit. Ah, okay, let's vi let's visit the first unit tomorrow. Let's review. That's why okay. we're here. No problem. If there's some, Vanit, so if you have some questions or some some specific knowledge check, let me know. And then tomorrow we'll take a look at it as well. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank perfect. You. All right, guys. Thank have you. a good night. Thank you, teacher. All right. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, -bye.